A lot of pointed complaints recently about the backlog of criminal cases in the Mobile County Court system. Some members in law enforcement are saying that backlog is partly to blame for the violence Mobile has seen in the last couple of years. Our investigative reporter Brendan Kirby has been digging into these numbers. And Brendan, the numbers show there really is a shortage of judges. Yeah, that's right, Byron and Lanise. Under a formula that the state uses to measure this, Mobile County has one of the most undermanned benches in the state. The Administrative Office of Courts came up with a formula to measure caseloads, looking at both volume and types of cases compared with the number of judges. Based on that, Baldwin and Mobile counties each need two to three more circuit judges. Baldwin and Mobile also each have almost two fewer district court judges than needed. On the other side of the spectrum is Jefferson County, which has almost 10 more judges than its caseload warrants. I think actually, we have an, an allocation problem more than we have a, uh, a lack of judicial manpower problem. James Reed, a retired Baldwin County judge, serves on the Judicial Resources Allocation Commission. The legislature set up the commission in 2017 to move judgeships when vacancies occur in overstaffed counties. But that's never happened. What we really have to get is to the administrative office of courts to get those judges assigned. There are areas overstaffed. We need to get some of those judges down here where we're severely understaffed. You can see that AOC budget has increased, but the money has not flowed to Mobile. As a stopgap, four retired circuit court judges are gearing up to preside over jury trials on an as-needed basis. Presiding Mobile County Circuit Judge Michael Youngpeter says the court system needs more than judges, though. The biggest issue we've had in the last few years has been our staff has not been up to speed in terms of staffing the judges we already have. Uh, we've been more focused on at least fully staffing our offices so that um, so we can get more done per judge. There are a couple of bills in the state legislature to create new judgeships. One would create 21 new positions, including three each in Mobile and Baldwin. But that would cost more than $8 million a year. What really needs to be done is there needs to be some more uh, legislation that where the legislature just mandates uh, transfers of these judges. Everyone wants to see criminal cases move faster through the courts, but both Judge Young Peter and Judge Reed say they don't believe the backlog is a significant contributor to crime. Reporting live in the studio, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.